Which Quran is this? What Quran is this? This is a key important topic actually. The Hadith literature is the biggest enemy against the authenticity of the Quran. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it's it not. Is. It, it's not. You have made it like that. It yeah. talks about Ahruf. It says that there are these variant readings. Listen, if, you, the, if, if people if like Arthur Jeffrey when, and others when, when, when you don't against it. Because people are erroneously attacking the Quran, using, using material, at least inauthentic at least material, to attack the Quran, you you throw away the baby with the bathwater, right? So you, you say, okay, throw the baby away and throw the bathwater so away. you don't believe in different readings, right? I do. You do? I do. That's and in the hadith, right? Listen, listen. Have you studied the Quran? You are a Quranist, right? I, I assume you're a Quranist. I don't use that term. <laughs> I use that term because That's you are. Your choice. You are that. Maybe you're, you're a hadithist. <laughs> How do you like that? No. I'm a Muslim. No, I'm a traditionalist. You're a I'm a traditionalist. Hadithist. Hadithist. You saying I'm a Quranist? You're hadith. No, I'm a traditionalist. Yeah, hadithist. Call me a hadith. Ahlul hadith. Ahlul hadith. No, thank you. Thank you. I'm happy with that. I'm a hadith. Quran. Okay. No. Which is you, superior? You, no. You, you are against the Quran if you are calling yourself the Quran only Muslim. Against the Quran. Like you're worshipping by, by following guidance outside. Let me come back to the question of Quran. How was the Quran preserved? <coughs> but if you follow the hadith in several no, no, ways. No, no. How was the Quran preserved? Without hadith. Put hadith aside. Because Put if you use the hadith, the Quran was not preserved. I'm saying hadith gone. Out of the question now. You do not have hadith. Put it aside. Throw it in the sea. Now, now, no, no, no. no, no we'll see. Now we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. How do we get to the Quran? I, as a skeptical individual in the 21st century, don't care about hadith. I want to get to the most ancient copies of the most ancient a uh, text of the Quran. How do I get to it? <laughs> so, before I go there, where do you find it in the hadith? I said throw the hadith in the sea. I've already done that. Because you why do you need, you why do you need a hadith to defend you something you disbelieve in? You don't believe in hadith. True. You're trying to use it to, to defend your argument. I'm asking you, how do I get to the Quran? The Quran of the Prophet, how do I get to it? As a skeptical Muslim in 21st century, I want to get to the original text, the original words the Prophet uttered. How do I get to it? You will not get that in the hadith. The hadith, in fact, says it. Hello, hello, hello. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Adnan. What's your name? Marwan. 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 Hadith is gone. We're not discussing hadith anymore. I'm asking you a very simple question. How do I get to the Quran of, of Muhammad? It's not the Quran of Muhammad. What he taught as the Quran. How do I get to it? Well, that is a difficult thing. Historical analysis. So why do you believe in it? I believe in it through my own study of it in terms of its culture. So you've it's studied it. Can you explain to me what you have studied? How do I get to it? <coughs> How was the Quran preserved? We're, we're get, we're okay. How do I get to it? Be specific in your question. How do I get to Surah Al Fatiha? I, I need evidence that Muhammad actually taught it. I, who, who knows? Abu Hanifa might have made it, made it up. Malik might have made it up. Or, or even. <coughs> By the same way that somebody at that time would have accepted text, it's who, by who accepted it? The people in his time. How do you so, know? So they came through the people. Wait, wait, man, you're jumping the gun. Listen, I'm, 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 I'm okay. trying to take you. You're asking a question. Let me answer. Yeah. Yeah. By the same approach. Yeah. The Which approach? Which approach? Don't interrupt, man. Have yeah. some etiquette, please. Yes, yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. By the same approach that logically a person of that time may have assessed it. In their time, they may have assessed it based upon the language, based upon the content, or what have you. Let me finish. In my time. How do I know they're telling me the truth? How do I know they're telling me the truth? Why should I accept someone attributed a statement to Muhammad and I have to accept it? Why? Give me the reasons why. Why? I analyze it based upon its own testimony, its own content. So you don't do that with Hadith? You don't do that with 
Yeah. You see, the, you see, the hadith are inconsistent, irrational. To you, to you, you, you have put two things in front of you. They are exactly the same in the process of preservation. You choose, they're not, they're not you choose to believe one and you reject the other because it has a certain problems. Okay. Now tell me then, how do I conclusively, or with certainty, with absolute level of certainty, read the Quran of Muhammad? I want to know. You have to do various things, historical analysis. Give me one. Hello, why are you? Listen, you're we've already Korean. spent five minutes Take on this me. question. You're not giving me answers. Okay, I challenge you to even answer that slightly. What? Slightly what? Yeah, because if you, if you say, you say, throw the hadith in the, in the sea, even with the hadith, I, I, I challenge you to give me you, a single Look, hadith to, to you is as good as Harry Potter. We've removed it. It's worse than Harry Potter. Okay, no problem. Gone. You happy? Happy? Now can you show me the Quran coming to us? What I'm saying is, uh, I need to know with certainty that what you read as Quran today was actually said by Muhammad. I need the proper process. I need to, I should be able to believe it. Well, you have nothing. That, you have, have nothing either by that. No, no, no. no, no. I, I'm asking, you're, the, you're the Quranist. I'm the Hadithist. You're the Quranist. But you're now, asking a question you cannot answer. I, I'm the, wait, wait. I challenge you to you answer that question. I'm the Hadithist. I'm already defeated. I'm gone. I'm in the sea. I'm destroyed. Okay, already. You're the Quran. It's the superior one. Yes. Can you now, with your superior knowledge of the Quran, this preservation works? Tell me how the Quran came to you. How do you know that what you just read there from Surah al Fatiha was actually said by Muhammad? For 14 centuries ago. Tell me. A part of that is, as I said, my reading and analysis of the Quran. Which is what? Mr. Lee, please finish the question. Yes. Okay. <laughs> The analysis of it and my own assessment of it as being the word of God and also, and also, listen, listen. And also having a text which is consistent as far as I'm aware in terms of its historical trajectory. Okay? Now, can you explain that to me? You're asking a question that it's impossible to answer even for you. Marwan is telling me in the year 2017, yes. 16th of April, yes. that I have studied it and I believe, I believe, I believe. Marwan is completely irrelevant to me. I don't care what Marwan has to say. I want a proper historical process which Marwan uses to reject other sources and applies to the Quran but 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 it's not consistent in his application. Wait, we can do so, textual analysis. Okay. Which will oh. the hadith oh. easily. Okay, okay. Forgot. I'm saying I've already accepted defeat. You're saying, I'm a hadith you're saying, how do I judge? I'm a hadith of Ahlul Hadith. I'm already defeated. I'm gone. Yes. I'm finished. Good. You're the Quranist. I'm asking you, tell me how the Quran came to you. Can you explain the process in about two minutes to me? Uh, cut it short. Do, give me a summary that define 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 what you mean by the process exactly. How why how do you know Surah Al Fatiha yes. was actually read by Muhammad 14 centuries ago? Where do you get it from? How does it come down to you? No, how do you know? How do you know? Explain. My knowledge is based upon faith and analysis. And what is that analysis? Analysis of what? Of the Quran as a coherent text, as a logical text. <laughs> what is the Quran? It is, it is what is the definition of Quran? Good question. What is the definition of the Quran? <laughs> You're asking a question, you need to define it. You are a Quranist. Define the question, mister. I'm asking you. I am already defined. Define the question. I am not. Define the question. You're asking what You're is the Quran? Young. What do you mean by that? You're the teacher. I'm the student. You're superior. I'm inferior. I'm defeated. I'm gone. I'm trying to learn as a skeptical student, as a troublemaker who gives trouble to the teachers. Can you please tell me what the Quran is? Can you explain what the Quran what, what is the Quran? What is it consist of? What is it? No, no, no. The Quran? No, 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 no. That's a different story. What is Quran? What, what is Quran? Simple. It is the guidance from Allah, the recital. It is the reminder. It is the criterion. And many of the other criteria of it, it is the book that I accept in 114 surahs that I believe to be a consistent text which I've analyzed, analyzed to the best of my ability. It is a text which is the common text among the majority of the Muslim Ummah. It is when I have been looking at people's 
analysis of the history and transmission of the Quran, it to me makes sense as a realistically preserved book. According to that definition, anyone can write a book of 114 chapters yeah. and has claimed claim guidance in it. Yeah. So you, you are referring to a specific text called the Quran, yes. right? With specific content. Yeah. Now, you are claiming that specific content is what Muhammad taught. To the best of my knowledge. Yes. To the best of your knowledge. Can you, can you now explain why, to the best of your knowledge, that is what Muhammad taught? No, so first thing is, that is actually a huge topic and it's also off the side from where we're talking about. No, Give me any no, evidence from the Quran no, that the hadith is required. This is, this is direct. No, 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 it's not. It's not. Marwan. We're talking about, give me the evidence from the Quran that the hadith is required. Marwan. Give me one and I will accept it. Marwan. One. Marwan. No, no, you, Marwan. I have time. already, no, no, I have already conceded defeat. <laughs> I am defeated. Well, I am saying, we have nothing I, to talk I about. surrender. I've, I've put down my weapon. No, no, no. We have nothing to He's talk. defeated. He's okay. asking you to I'm asking you, the Quranist. I'm the hadithist. I'm gone. I'm in the sea. I've been thrown into the sea. I'm asking you, the Quranist. You believe in the Quran. Now, it's been now nearly 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Because you're the same question. This is not a discussion. This I is a discussion. discussion. It's not. It's not your debate. I have already conceded to you. you. Well, then what's the purpose of discussion? This discussion. Well, asking because I'm asking you, and I'm going to show you by your own reasoning, you by your own reasoning, that you are inconsistent. I'm not you're inconsistent. You're completely inconsistent. You're inconsistent. Give me, give me every evidence. There is a reason why you cannot explain to me the, how the Quran came You to can't you. do it either. The hadith in fact. I can. I can. But I'm not claiming it. I can. You I can. know exactly what I'm talking. You know, you know what I'm doing here? I know exactly what I'm doing here. Man, I've watched I know. before. I know okay. what you're doing. Okay. 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 Good. So you know what I'm doing, right? Let's see so, you try. So, so, I'm, I'm, for the past 15 minutes, <laughs> I'm, 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 I think those who, have, those who have a little bit of sense, little brain, brain cells can see that you are not able to answer a simple question. The question how do you you're know? asking is not simple and you cannot answer it. He's asking why you believe in the I have already conceded defeat. I am defeated. That's not the way you I'm gone. I'm you saying, I'm not about your position. You're a Quranist. This question I asked you. Wait, you're a Quranist. I am now asking you to explain to me why are you a Quranist? Why? What conviction do you have in the text of the Quran? And how do you know Muhammad said what you claim he said 14 centuries ago? Let's say Alhamdulillah. Okay. Why am I a Quranist? Because I've done a few things. Number one, I have read the Quran. I have much to learn. But how do you know it's from Muhammad? Let me, let me finish. <laughs> but you read the Quran. How do you know it's from Muhammad? That's the, that's the, that's the fundamental question. How Muhammad, do you know it's from Muhammad? Muhammad, for me, is an irrelevant in the shame. It is oh from Allah. Allah. If, if, from if Allah. he's irrelevant, then what's the okay, point of it? What's, what's, what's the Quran? You know? He is, if it's from Allah. How? That is okay, the question. Okay. But that, Muhammad is a part okay. of the how process, did, but how, he's not the source okay. of it. How, how do you know it's from Allah? Okay. Let, 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 okay. Now remove Muhammad out of the picture as well. So Allah, 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 Allah. Hadith is gone. Muhammad is gone. How do you know it's from Allah? That is a completely huge, utter discussion. It's nothing related to the Hadith, my friend. I am saying Hadith is gone. But I'm not interested. I have, I have I'm, in, I'm interested in the discussion of do we need have, the Hadith? We're not discussing the Hadith anymore. I've conceded I am, defeat. I am I'm saying I'm, I'm finished. I am discussing it. I you cannot just change the topic. Well, why are you why are you, why are you why are you killing a dead why are you killing a dead why are you killing so, so your view why are you killing your a dead is, animal? Your view is already, Hadith your view is already is, dead. Your view is reject the Hadith, you, reject the Quran. This is dead, and I accept that. Okay, you don't accept Hadith. No problem with that. Let's throw Hadith in the sea. We have done that. Listen, give me. Stop. Okay, now give me now. one example from the Quran that the hadith is required. That I, is the argument. I don't even accept you know, as, as a skeptical. As a, um, if you're not going to be part of that discussion, wait. which is the discussion Marwan. I came to you with, Marwan. there's no point to talk. Marwan. So you don't want to talk about the hadith? Marwan. No, because that is beside the point right Marwan. now. Marwan. 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 Let's, let's say I'm a, I'm a skeptical. That is irrelevant. Marwan. I don't have to justify that. Marwan. What you have to answer is what I asked you, and that is justify the hadith Marwan. from the Quran. You claim you if you cannot do that, then admit defeat Wait, and the discussion is over. I have already admitted defeat. Well, oh, the discussion is over. Okay. Okay. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know. Uh, we're going through a very so, good... Okay, so if you're not so going to now, answer the so question, now it is, I do want to go around in the circle. Marwan, answer the question. It is now clear to all of us. It's not clear to anyone. To me, you are diverted. You are not you are able... Diverted. To, Wait, you are not able to tell us how the Quran came from Muhammad to you. You have failed utterly failed to demonstrate that. Now, do you want me to demonstrate how Hadith came to us? And the Quran? You want me to demonstrate? Are you going to be silent? You try and I'll answer. Okay. I'll be as silent as you are. You are interrupting me all the time. 
Okay, now, 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 now. You're interrupting Very all the time. I will explain. Justify, justify from okay. the Quran the okay. need for hadith. I will now, I will justify explain. from the Quran. I don't care about the hadith justifying itself. The Quran is the Muhammad. If you cannot justify from there, what you have nothing. What is the Quran? How do you know it came justify from Muhammad? Justify the need for the Quran. Okay. But I don't accept. Say, let's say, let's say, as, as, let's say, 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 I'm not a Muslim. I'm a non-Muslim asking questions about the Quran. I don't believe in the Quran. Let's assume. Okay, for argument's sake, I'm asking you a very simple question. You are a Quranist. I'm asking you, can you please prove to me yep. with absolute certainty that what you claim to be the Quran is exactly what Muhammad taught 14 centuries ago? How can is you? that related to our discussion that I started with? I, I already explained that I am not. I'm not a Muslim. Let's say I'm. No, no, no. Let's, you, let's cannot, say, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Why not? You have to take part in the discussion. You are a Muslim. You're gonna force you accept, me. You're gonna force me to become something I'm not. You, you, no, you accept the Quran and you accept the Hadith. I am asking you. Shall I get someone else to ask you the same question? No, no, no. Maybe because, so. because you're diverting. Because you are not able well, not to the, argue. No, no, the you're, the you're, the you're not understanding, Marwan. Marwan. I, you see, you know, why is that explained? He doesn't want to have a dialogue. The reason. The reason why he's stubborn. We started with the discussion. One second. He's avoiding the question by saying For everyone who's watching this, you're avoiding answering the question because you you got because no, no, you're going, no, no, you're second, going there's around a reason. speaking. You're going there's a reason you're not answering no, no, the question. There's a reason. Because you're you know, the when you start to explain no, no, how the Quran no, no. came to you, right. when, you start to explain, when you start to explain how the Quran came to you, game over. Yes, so many <laughs> game over. You will, with that talk, when you start to explain, you will that's actually right. start to substantiate yeah. the signs of Hadith. That's why you and don't want over. to answer. That's, that's why you don't want to answer. The signs of Hadith and the Quran are completely different. No, they're not. That's why you don't know. How? That's why you don't know. You don't know How? 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 Uh, uh, One second, let me ask you. No, guys, guys, I know what I'm doing. This is why I'm asking him. Explain to me how the Quran came to you. That's that's what, that's he's not doing it for the past 15 minutes. Yeah, he's not, he's not oh, now it's 20 minutes. Now it's 20 minutes. For the past 20 minutes, he has failed to do it. He refuses to do it. Half an hour. Half an hour. Half an hour? Okay. Because you are not taking part in the original discussion. This you is are the going around. This is the discussion. It's not the discussion. Okay. You don't define it. Okay. Have you, have you started about <laughs> who, have you, where does the hadith justification come from? Have you and then you go around everywhere else. Have you seen the That is not a discussion. Marwan. Don't you? try go, don't try bullshit technique with me, okay? Marwan. <laughs> Marwan, have you seen the cartoon uh, Kung Fu Panda? Okay. But he lands on this uh, this uh, what do you call it? this baddie. What's his name? Uh, you know the, the slow leopard. He lands on it. He goes, you're a big big fat hand. He goes, no, I'm the big fat big fat panda. Yeah? So this is the discussion. Okay? No, no. Without, wait. No, no, you don't define the discussion for me, okay? No. I came to you to tell you and to ask actually about justify the need for hadith from the Quran. Then you go around all these other ways which are not relevant to this specific discussion. Okay, wait, wait. You're asking me no. to justify the, the child yes. without the mother. I'm asking you, I'm asking you where the mother comes from. Where did the mother come from? Once you start to explain, wait, mother, number one, mother, number one, mother, number one. You interrupt me all Once the time. you start to explain where the mother came from, what she did, how she lived, what she, how she nurtured the child, then you will, by extension, start to understand where the child came from. Also, yes. okay. also, but you want me to, you want me to the know the mother. No, 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 don't talk about the mother. Explain where the child came from. I'm trying to take you to the mother. I'm telling you, the child came from the mother. You're saying, no, I don't want to know the mother. I want to know the child. No, no. So I'm saying, posit, we both, at least one thing we both agree on, for the sake of this argument, yeah. is we both agree there is the Quran which we believe in. Okay? Let's take that as the first point and say, no, okay, we, we know agree. why we believe in it. No. Why do you? Yes. Yes. Why do you? In theory, that is why completely irrelevant. No, no, no. It is relevant. It's not, very relevant. It's not relevant. You have to at all. Understand. And also, one second, one second. You know your initial question. You know your initial question you asked that you keep saying, let's go back to. He answered it. He did not. He no, he answered it. You know what, what you said? You what did you say? What did you say? say? No, according to my logic, that does not make sense. How do you know? He said, I know because of a hadith. I know because of the commentary of the Quran. You said, no, I'm using my logic. So now he's proving to you how he his logic of using the ahadith and the tradition is actually valid. You don't want to go down that route because you know he'll prove it. No, because that's, point why, that's what's going I'm on. I'm asking you for specific details, not a general all-encompassing 20-hour discussion. I've been, I've been dealing with these topics for the last, at least last 10 years. I've 15 been, okay, years. Okay, good. You're no more than me. Then why can't, why you're can my you teacher. Because 
you my are teacher. going the wrong way about okay. it. I'm saying take you this for granted. Both of us. Genius. Let's take okay. for granted both of us okay. the Quran. Okay, wait. Now that we both, now that we both agree that there is a Quran. Have you studied the Quran for 15 years? You have bits and pieces over time. Okay, okay, okay but okay. I don't, wait, I don't claim what, to be. Where are the earliest manuscripts of the Quran? Start, start naming them. Number one. Start naming them. I don't have it in my memory. I read many. Things. 15 years. You said you studied. I, I and I only I'm studied not, for 10 years. Not, not Less than you, but I know where they are. Because I'm not taking okay. part in these debates all the time, so okay. I don't have it in my memory okay. all the time. So, so, so this shows that I am more of a Quranist than you are. No. Okay. No. No. Why? Because I have. I know exactly where the manuscripts are. I know what the chains Can are. Name them, I know what the chains are. Who transmitted the Quran? Where? Where does the Quranic readings? Uh, uh, where, where the differences are? You know, in the reading. Okay. Why there are differences? I have studied all. That process. You don't want to discuss it for a reason. I've actually read about all of them myself. Okay, you have. So why are you not? Why are you not explain that to me? Because it's something that I read and I don't record in my mind because I don't have to take part in the debates. So why are you Quran is that? If you're not convinced, if you're not convinced, because the hadith is illogical and has no basis in the Quran. Okay. That is why. It seems like you have a personal thing against the hadith. We're not talking about the hadith. A logical thing against. We're not. We're not. Okay. Illogical. Okay. I'm How do you know your logic is correct? How do you know logic is correct? Prove your logic can be wrong. Prove me wrong. I've already shown one it. Second. You have not. You've taken around one a completely second. different topic. Let me say one thing. I'm asking you justify the Quran. Let me say one thing. That the hadith is okay. Let me say one thing. I, I, I will do it. Wait, one, one final point. Please, please. And I'm done with this discussion. After. No, no. Let me say one thing before okay, you say you can, that. Let me say one thing before you say that. You're justifying your understanding of the Quran from your logic. Yeah, that's fine. Best, yes. Best yeah, I can. As best as you can. Uh, yeah, yeah, you were yeah, born yeah. and raised somewhere, right? Yeah, in a society, you were born and raised, etc. You went to school, etc. Yeah, and you were yeah, conditioned in that society. You assume. You don't know that. Okay, that's fine. No problem. Your logic will not be consistent with every single person's logic. Who did the Quran come from? Logic, by definition, who did the Quran come from? Is always consistent. No, it's not always consistent. And it's not logic. No, it depends on who, who's speaking. No, no, no. It's subjective. We're not talking about relativistic view of things. Here. Logic varies from time to time, from place to place. It's subjective. That something that's logical to you is not logical to. Yes. Mr. X. I'm talking Mr. about logic, okay. and logic in a let, careful manner. Let, let me come back to the question now. Do you know we have manuscripts from the time of the Prophet of the Quran? Do you know? Yes, I'm familiar. Ones that have been dated to between before he started and do after. You, I'm do, you, do you accept them? Birmingham man. Okay. Do you accept them? Allahu alam. I, I haven't seen it. I haven't assessed it. I can't say it for sure. Okay. Do you accept them as belonging to the companions of the Prophet or not? Simple one. Uh, yes or no? If they come from the same time when the companions are alive there's only one logic that follows and here your logic I don't know for some reason fails okay because I'm careful unlike you okay so who wrote those who, who wrote those manuscripts it has to be companions most likely it is yes. no, why most likely what, what the, 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 the Chinese are writing them? because I am not Allah and I do not know for certain okay. in history no, but, no, no. why is your logic wait, consistent wait. now have you read those manuscripts carefully no I have not read that manuscript. okay do you know about the inferior text Yes, that can be behind it, and you can get that okay. through Okay, have you read it? Okay. Now, this is this is the this is the, this is the this is the main point. The Hadith literature tells us that there were certain variations in the Quranic text. In the early Quranic text, certain companions of the Prophet were reading the Quran in different ways. That's why we have the Hadith of Hisham and Umar bin Khattab reading Surah Al Furqan. Okay, they were both reading it differently, and they went to the Prophet. He doesn't accept it because he is a Quran. Correct, correct. Okay. Now the Quranic manuscripts amazingly confirm what the Hadith is telling you. When you read the when you read the inferior text in the manuscripts that date from the Prophet's time, those differences that have been documented in the Hadith literature are exactly there. From a material parchment that was recorded, dated, written, and Scribed in the time of the Prophet or very close to his time by the companions. Now, what do you have to say on that? Well, has he understood that? Yes, actually, I have So, yes, tell us why. So, why why are there those so, differences so, there? So, until there's some time that I can understand, analyze that, I'm not going to speak like I'm an authority. But I can leave me positive. Okay, leave me positive. Okay. Now you say, and I'm just going to accept what you say because I have. I can pull it out right now and show you uh, show you the show you the images right now. Palimpsest. You want to see them? The Quranic palimpsest. Here, right here. Okay. 
the text. Now again, you wait, 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 let me finish the question. This, no, no, this, from the Quran. I have done it. Just, I already have not. But you, you, you have done not. It. He has done it. You don't accept ma, it. Ma afa Allah the Rasul. He has done it. He has done it. Quran. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. That's hadith. When Allah, are you serious? One second. When Allah, wait, wait. When Allah Musa stop it. Have you analyzed it? Have you analyzed it? Have you analyzed it? Have you analyzed it? Yes, actually. Based on what? Your logic. What is this? I'm sorry. Do you accept this logic? I don't accept. Do you accept this logic? No, we don't accept the logic. Because you're preconditioned. No, this, you pre oh my God. Okay, these parchments are dated to mid 7th century when the companions of the Prophet وسلم, were alive. The majority of them were alive. Okay? Because the last companion of the Prophet to have died died in the year 110 Hijri. It was Amir Abu Tufail. Okay? A companion called Amir Abu Dosi. Now, okay? He died. No, no, no. That's uh, uh, Tufail Abu Dosi is someone else. This is Amir Abu Tufail is, is a different person. Oh, Tufail Abu Amir, sorry. Tufail Abu Amir is the last companion of the Prophet to have died. Anas died in 94. Okay? This parchment is before Anas died. Long time before Anas died. It has an inferior text, which has has been dated to have come from Uthman's time. Okay, it's Uthmanic Codex. The companions of the Prophet had written this. Those variations which we find documented in the Hadith literature in terms of Ahruf are there. Okay, so that confirms at least those reports on Ahruf are absolutely correct. In the light of material evidence we find from the time of the companions. You have no legs to stand on as a Quranist. Well, let me answer okay. your point. Yeah. Two things. Scribal errors can happen at every time. And no, these are sense. not scribal errors. Listen, listen. These are not scribal errors. No, listen, listen. You know what scribal error is? Even, wait, yeah. Let me finish my point, then you say something. That's how you take part in the discussion. Number one, it is possible to have scribal errors at any point, and to correct them makes perfect sense. Number two, the concept of Ahruf in itself, wait. nobody actually understands okay. it. Wait. As to you ah. and others okay. have said, wait, wait. they do not understand these hadiths. Yes, he's right, he's right, he's right. On Ahruf, we have 30 opinions, nearly 30 opinions. The scholars of Islam did not have the evidence we have today. So you didn't have it, Ibn Hajar didn't have it, other authorities... Most of the evidence you have now comes I'm, 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 I'm confirming what you're saying, okay? So let me finish. Okay. Most of these classical scholars didn't have the evidence we have today. Okay. Now what we have today actually 100% confirms one opinion in particular, one opinion, and that opinion is what? There were, there were seven types of variations in the Quran, pre, in the pre-Uthmanic text. What did Uthman do when he standardized the text? Okay, when he put the Quran in one reading, for example, what did he do? What did he get rid of? This is a very interesting question. What did he actually remove? Okay, from the text? There were seven types of different variations. Okay, what are they? Taqdeem and Taqfir, as we are told in the in the Hadith literature. They were uh, Ta'nees and Tathkir. You know what these things are? You know what these things are? Here, you know. So how can I, you know? Okay. Because okay. Where did what book did he use? What book did he use? What book did he use? He used a one of the. He used a mushaf that was with a wife of the prophet. Correct or incorrect? Yes or no? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? I'm saying this is your position. No, 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 no. Do you believe that? Do you? I'm asking you. Do you believe that? I'm saying that's a valid historical position as far as I'm concerned. Where does that come from? Where does that come from? Where did it come from? Because for me, is it in the Quran? Is it in the Quran or in the Hadith? That position you just you just show yourself, brother. You just show I've, yourself. I've been I've been speaking to you. Yeah, exactly. The hadith gives you con contradictory no, every views. Single thing, every single thing you will claim about the Quran is going. You is, believe in is, is hadith? Pointing back you just proved it. it. I do not you just proved it. it. You, you just proved it. You just used it. So you you just hadith, hadith as a religion. It has been recorded. No basis. It has been recorded. You said that's a valid historical position. I am asking where you. Where does it come from? Where does that position uh, come from? That's valid. It is it is in the hadith literature. I so you choose to believe in some yes. and reject others. So when a report goes in your favor, <coughs> no, you like it, you no, like no, the content. There's two things. Okay, number one, hadith as a religious source is one topic. Number two, if it, if it may have some sort of historical source, that's a different thing. When I say it's a valid or it's a logical position historically, as in I see there's no reason okay. why I could be wrong. <coughs> I'm going to ask you a question. Answer my I question think, first. I, I, do you I, accept that hadith are logical? I don't. I'm going to ask you. Okay, so, so okay. I'm going to ask you a question. Prove to me I'm going to ask you a question. From the Quran. I'm going to ask you a question. Now. Prove to me the hadith is required from the Quran. That is the question. Wait, I don't wait, want any wait, other answer. Okay, 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 wait, wait, I've already proved that. You have not. Though, with those, this, this, this has been recorded. Yeah, 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. What is that? Okay, wait. Is it hadith? Wait, my brother. This is gonna go online. This is gonna go online. Let people decide. If people think I'm a stupid, I'm a stupid. You know, whatever. You're not taking yeah. part in a logical discussion. I'm asking you a question. Answer that. Question. I'm gonna ask you a question now. No, no. Answer I'm my gonna question ask first. I'm gonna ask you a question. Answer my question first. I will. I will. I will. No, no. Answer it first. That was the start of the discussion. What is the? What is the question? Give me evidence from the Quran that you need the hadith. First, you give me evidence, and my. I'm answering your question by posing a bigger question. Give me evidence that the Quran is what Muhammad taught. Irrelevant. Let's pause. Why is that irrelevant? Quran. I don't because accept. That's not the discussion. Let's say. That's let's say. I don't accept your view of the Quran. I don't, I don't accept, accept anything. <coughs> no problem with that. So that's why we're talking. So I'm asking you to now give me a standard you use to judge the Quran. How do you know it's the Quran Muhammad taught? You don't. You don't have an answer for me. For the last 45 minutes, you don't have an answer. For me. My question. Is, my, my question. Question is, give me evidence. And now I'm going to tell you. Now I'm going to tell you why hadith is authentic. We have in Bukhari certain reports from the Prophet that have three individuals between Bukhari and Prophet Muhammad. And we have these reports are 22 in number. 22 reports in Sahih Bukhari, Bukhari's collection, and there are others with four individuals between Bukhari and Muhammad. So Bukhari states. حدثنا أو حدثني مكي ابن إبراهيم مكي ابن إبراهيم was a teacher of Imam Bukhari. He had a teacher called Abu Abay. You're not answering my question. Well, I'm not, You're not answering my question. Patient, patient, patient. He had a teacher called Abu Abay. Abu Abay's teacher was Salma Tabn al Aqwa, a companion of the Prophet, and he narrated from the Prophet. So between Bukhari and the Prophet, there are three individuals. And there is no broken link. They are all connected to each other. They all learn from each other. And the chain is uninterrupted. Now tell me, when Bukhari narrates from this chain, why is it a lie? Why is it not trustworthy? Tell me why. Because the very nature of oral transmission is, is difficult to ever say that it's preserved. Let me give you one example. What about... So the Quran is... By that standard, no, no. By that standard the Quran is redundant. By that standard, the Quran is redundant. Oral no, it's not. Quran is oral transmission. Yes. Because it was recorded in his life. Okay, it's oral, still oral. Quran it's still taught. As well. yes. it's, it's Quran, it is read. It is Quran. It goes against okay. your point. It's not. Okay, listen, okay. Listen, listen. So, so wait, wait, every stop. argument you're going to throw against me, you're not going to fire back at you. The original argument you're not giving an answer for. And also, let me give you one example. Okay, now you. No, no, stop. Let me give you one example. The supposed hadith about the Prophet's final sermon. Yes. You're familiar with that? Yes. yes. There are at least three different versions of it where he says, I leave you the book of Allah, or I leave you the book of Allah and my example, or I leave you the book of Allah and my family. That is supposedly a very widely observed narration, and yet in the key area, it has three major differences. Why don't you answer that? Three what? Sorry? Three major variations of a supposedly okay. widely. I, I, I understand your question. Now, yes, from you. that question, you conclude that. The, the incident is untrustworthy. No, no, I'm giving you an example how your supposed I'm to, oral I'm, transmission I'm, I'm of hadith to get to the is, of is, is, is reliable. I'm okay, giving you an example okay, how okay, okay, a key okay, point okay. is changed in okay. a short period of time. I'm going to ask you a question now. Uh, uh, to answer your question, I'm trying to make a point. Okay, this is what we call a logical discussion. So, answer. Yeah? Where in the Quran I'm, does it justify I'm, the hadith? Hello, hello, hello. hello. No, no, you, these are all extra topics. I want no, one. No, 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 I'm answering your question. In, this, in these four variations, are there commonalities? Similarities? Yes. Right? So what do we get? That the similarities are definitely what the Prophet had said, right? Yes. Right? Okay, Maybe. I'll give you an example. Abraham Lincoln <coughs> delivered a speech, his presidential speech, for example. There are four versions of it. Four versions. All versions vary from one another. Okay, what we do know that Abraham Lincoln definitely spoke, definitely delivered a speech, and the content of that speech are pretty much determined by looking at the four versions, by looking at similarities. Likewise, so these three, likewise, these three versions of the speech of the Prophet, a fact is established that he definitely delivered a speech, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the content of his speech are pretty much determined by 
by looking at the similarities of the two seeds. Okay? To, and we have and, a key difference. And when you try, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. what, a you, key difference. Have you studied history? I'm, I'm, a histori I'm, I'm a student of history, by the way. Abdullah. Okay. Do you know what historiography is? I'm familiar with historical okay. techniques. I, there are two options in front of you. You either go by conventional rules of historiography, how historians use historical events, and how they determine what is true and what may not be true. Or you come up with your own logics, like you are today. You know, like you, you are. You know. He's a student of history. Okay. I, I'm giving you, ask me where, 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 where I got the standard from. I'll give you the standard. Right? The standard okay. defined by who? Okay. By historians, <laughs> by traditionists, people who have been studying. The same historians who would maybe reject that the Quran or who would reject the hadith like many do. Do you accept their standards as well or just the standards that suit you? Which historian rejects the Quran? You just made a claim. What historian rejects the Quran? What is that it exists is a different story, but I'm saying about it being preserved, for example, or that Muhammad. What historian, for example? says that it doesn't come from Muhammad. Name one, Muslim or non-Muslim, name one who says it doesn't come from Muhammad. They make an empty claim. No, no. For example, nice talking to you. Patricia Krohn. I've got a headache now. They make an empty claim. Nice talking to you. Someday, inshallah, when you answer that the Quran proves hadith, we'll have a discussion. After this discussion, after this discussion, after this discussion today, I am more of a hadithist now. Okay, I have May not, Allah forgive I'm, you. I, I will take out the hadith from the sea now and adopt it even more now. You have not defended okay. it even one bit. Well, he, for half an hour, he's asking you one question. Half an hour. The and question is, is not related to the topic. Of course it is. Oh, you can never answer that question. You need to humble yourself. You didn't listen to anything he said. Half an hour. You didn't listen to anything I said. It was a waste of time. You made up your mind. You didn't answer my question. You have already once. made up your mind, Baba. You have already it can't made be up a one way mind. Because you didn't listen to anything he said. Did you answer his question. Once. Answer his no, question. You can move forward. You, you have already made up your mind. You're using the Quran as a premise, right? 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 You know the heart is cold. You see, this is the problem. You're, you're claiming logic, but you don't have logic. I have a lot of logic. Okay. More you're than claiming you sure. the Quran as your basic premise, right? Right? Not a you're premise. saying no. It is your premise. You're saying the Quran is what? You're saying that? Show me in the Quran yes. where it says that this is a logic. I'm saying. I'm saying this is a mutually accepted source of evidence. So that's no, your premise. Let's use that. It's not. In your case, it's not. So you don't accept the Quran? No, no. I do accept the Quran. No, you don't. I. It's, it is. It is mutually accepted. Okay. There Therefore, you start from uh, wait, that point. Wait, I accept the Quran because I am very consistent with my standard. Okay, when I accept something, I have a standard to accept it. You do not accept that standard. You have no legs to stand on. You cannot believe the Quran for rejecting the Hadith. If you reject the Hadith, you are by extension rejecting the entirety of the Quran. You no do you believe in abrogation? Yes, I do. Yes, do. Uh, where do you base that from? On the Quran. Really? Yes. It's mostly from Hadith, actually. If I show you in the Quran, then... I have actually studied that in detail. Go ahead and try it. And then you're going to use your logic no, to... No, have you read a book by Nuwai Fatuhi, Abrogation of the Quran, Islamic Law? A detailed analysis no, I haven't read that book. Who? I recommend you read it. I have... Uh, okay. It if analyzes the Hadith on the topic, it analyzes the Ayahs on the topic in great detail, taking all of the analysis of previous scholars on that topic. Okay. The thing you is, disrespect the Quran by your acceptance of the Hadith. No. With now, regards to abrogation, after, with regards to, for example... After, after this discussion today, at least in the future, you will think twice before you throw the Quran in the middle of a discussion yeah. without being able to substantiate its authenticity. I I'm think asking twice you by talking with somebody okay. who will not answer a Brother, question. I have, I have had long discussions with giant Quranists. I think you're a student. You're, I mean, I have had discussions with giant Quranists and I only asked them one question. How did the Quran get to you? Yes. And I was not disappointed even yes. today because you couldn't answer the same question. Yes. They because cannot answer this question. Today. Question. That's not they, the topic today. They, they cannot answer this question because they don't want to answer this question. Right. They don't they want, want to the because the, the moment they start answering the question, yes. describing the process to me, it will start to become clear that they are inconsistent. They are being hypocritical. So do you accept the about hadith because of history or because of the Quran? Both. Both. I challenge you to uh, give me any evidence from the Quran. <laughs> what? I challenge you to give me evidence from the Quran. He did. He did not. I challenge you. He did. He did. He told you. He he first, you brother, 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 wait, wait. wait. Brother, are you, Marwan, I can see that you are an intelligent person. Maybe. Okay, your brain works. <laughs> You're talking to me. You speak. You, you are analyzing questions. You, you have cognition. 
you're giving me intelligent answers. Why are you refusing to accept a simple fact we're trying to clarify to you? That because when, it's when, irrelevant. when, no, 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 it's, it's not irrelevant. irrelevant. It is. It is a direct, it is a directly related question. It's not. I'm saying, okay, I'll tell you why it's relevant. No, I'm going to simplify it. I know I'm why you think it's relevant. I know Marwan, why you think. Marwan, but this is not the question. Marwan, can I finish? We use the same standard to believe in the authenticity of the Quran. We use to believe in the authenticity of the Hadith. Yes. Okay, now, this is why it's relevant. I am asking you, because you throw away had Hadith in the sea, yes. you, yes. we don't, we don't, okay? The reason why we accept Hadith, because we accept the Quran yes. by the same standard. What you do is, you divorce the standard of the Quran completely from the discussion. You want to stick to the Hadith. The reason why we take you to the Quran, to show you how inconsistent you are, because you cannot possibly, in any shape or form, explain to me as to how the Quran came to you without using that process, That's right. that same process process the hadith came to us through okay do you understand the relevance now do you i understand did, did you understand it did you understand it did you understand simple. it did everyone understand yeah, the relevance simple, simple. That everyone agrees there is relevance except you do you now accept no i do not <coughs> because because we cannot because we logic, cannot continue because logically speaking even if the hadith is perfectly preserved let's posit that even if it's perfectly preserved if the quran tells you not to follow it you cannot follow it i am saying correct i am correct saying, or incorrect wait 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 correct or incorrect why are you using the Quran when you can't prove it? Why are you using the Quran? Why is the Quran important that's to you? That's not my task now. That's a good question. No. The point is, even if we accept the hadith is perfectly preserved, if I can demonstrate to you from the Quran that it should not be followed, you still have to accept that. That will not happen. You know why? The Quran is the word of God. That will not happen. That's because you won't accept any argument. No, no, no. That will not happen. It will the hadith will never continue. It does. No, it does not. On the topic of abrogation, on the topic of the punishment for the adulterer. I think, I think it's clear now. I think it's clear that we, we, where does that come from? Okay. Where does it come from? In the hadith, it mentions about, oh, supposedly there was an ayah for stoning. Supposedly there was a punishment for stoning. But we don't find it in the Quran because of abrogation. It has also only the whipping that is in there. Hadith contradicts the Quran. Number two. I, I number two. But when you finish. Are you married? When you finish. Are you married? Listen, that's not the topic. And when are you, you married? finish. I'm asking you. When do you finish your fasting? Are you married? When do you finish your fasting? Are you married? Is it at Maghrib or is Marwan, it at Layl? Marwan, are you married? The hadith Says Marwan. Is the Quran says Layl. Marwan. Contradiction. Marwan, are you married? Irrelevant. Are you married? Irrelevant to the topic. Oh, let's say he is. Let's okay. Say he is. Okay. Do you have bad dreams? No. Nope. You don't. No. Nope. You don't have the male. Uh, okay. <laughs> so okay. So if you've never discharged as a male in your life, that is not something I'm talking to uh, you uh, about. Do you have whistle after it? I'm, I'm, I'm coming to the question you're asking. Once again, irrelevant. I'm coming. Oh, irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. It is. Irrelevant. Every single no. thing we are discussing no, no, is irrelevant. It is you're making it out okay. like I'm talking you're talking about the, uh, okay. the logic do of you, accepting the Do you the have a bath after discharging? If, whether you have a wet dream or have, having, if you've had intimacy with your wife, do you have a bath after it? I do ghusl. Ghusl, why? Because it says ghusl in the Quran. It doesn't say after the after the in intimacy with your wife. Show me now in the Quran where it says that you have to have ghusl after intimacy with your wife or after janaba. Show me. It doesn't spell. Show me, show me, show me. Why do you have ghusl then? Why do you have ghusl then? Because you should clean any part. No, 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 no. Have, no. Okay, listen. Okay, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. You have ghusl after Once after again, after janaba. You're, you're after janaba. Janaba is backwards. You're major, working backwards. No, 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 no. You cannot say we do this. No, 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 we don't no, no. find it in the Quran. You see what's happening? He's got you here. He's running away. He's running away. away. This, this because you guys are these, not following the logic listen, of the situation. Listen, Marwan, 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 Marwan. This is this is what we call hypocrisy yes. at its peak. You know, you are doing things that that are that of hadith, and you don't believe in it. You quote it. This is the most stupid thing to do. You don't believe in something, you start practicing it. You're praying. You're praying. You're making ruku because because if the Quran does not mandate. Everything else is optional. You understand? Okay. okay. Logic. Optional. optional. Why? Now it's Why? optional. Why? Because if it's who not, said? Who said this is an option? We're making progress. We're because making if progress. it's because if it's not in the Quran, it is not mandated. You understand the logic? You just that? change your okay. argument Wait. completely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why I'm saying. Marwan, you, when where you get, did you, you get the back. idea of making ghusl from? Where did you get it from? Because the term is used in the Quran. And ghusl yes, ghusl. That that is general ghusl. Yes. Yes. Okay. I do general after, ghusl. After Janaba. No, I do general ghusl. I asked a specific question. Okay. Do you believe in having a ghusl, having ghusl after Janaba? Do you? Simple question. Be honest. Do you or not? Do you believe in it? The term in the Quran uses Janaba. 
Okay. No, there is no, there's no term in the Quran, Janaba. Show me. Show me. There's no Janaba. It says Junub. Okay. What is it? Does it say okay, so, Ghusl after it? Does it say Ghusl after it? It mentions Ghusl, I believe. No, it doesn't. Go show me. Show me. Show me. And that okay. term Junub, wait, wait. That term Junub is not for Janaba you're talking about. I know. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, that, I said Junub. You don't, no, no. That Junub is for the neighbor. Okay. That Junub, that means no, people, no, who are living no, by, people who are living by your side. It's not for Janaba. Okay. Show me in the so, Quran. So, so, so you're not going to answer, you're not going to justify the hadith in the Quran? Hello, yes hello. No? You, can you not no, see no. what's happening? No, 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 he has. No, no. He has. Can you not he see has. what's happening? He has. You don't you accept it. You are taking it. every other option you You have had. blocked your mind. You completely blocked because your mind. Because the Quran is, should be your Furqan. And if you cannot demonstrate from the Quran, you're using something else as a Furqan. That is the point I'm trying to make. But why? Can you understand? Why are you acting on hadith? Why are you practicing hadith if you don't believe in it? Because I don't say you have to do anything that the hadith says unless it's in the Quran. You so why do you make ghusl after Janaba? I say I make ghusl before prayer if I need to. I didn't say necessarily I'm asked after, after Janaba. Do you believe in making ghusl after Janaba? Simple question. Simple question. He already said he does. I, wait, wait, I, I'm I, asking you. I simple do ghusl for any of the relevant parts. Marwan, why is it so difficult to speak simple English? Do you believe yes, in do. making ghusl after Janaba? Do you justify the hadith from the Quran? You won't answer that question. You, you do expect, expect me to answer a million questions. Me, I, yes, I do. yes, I do believe Someone in that. I, I've, I've, just, I've just answered your question. Can you answer my question now? That, do you believe in making ghusl after Janaba? Giving the evidence. Okay. Do you believe in making... I answer your okay, question. Listen, listen. Can we be fair? We're talking We're talking about logic here. Theoretically speaking... What's wrong here? What logic? I'm not you're running. Theoretically, theoret 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 theoretically speaking, let's say, right let's say for the sake of practice, I don't practice anything in the Quran. If we talk about a logical argument and we say, yes. the Quran exists and we accept both of it, that it should be a book of yeah, God. Yeah, it exists. I'm saying, I'm book saying, demonstrate from that, that the hadith is required. Good. Very good question. Before I do that... No, no, no. Before. That is the only question I'm interested in right now. And you keep on going every other direction. Okay. Okay. When the Quran says, when the Quran says, ma yantiku anil hawa in huwa illa wahin yuha, what does the Quran mean by that? I believe, I believe it's talking about hadith. That's in reference to the Quran. Where? How do you know? How do you know? Because, because, how do you know? How do you know? Your logic, right? Your logic, right? No, because we have evidence in the Quran. Of where? Where? Let where? Me, let me finish my sentence before yes. you say where. Sure, sure. We have evidence in the Quran of numerous times, I'd say between four to five, if I recall correctly, of the messenger being corrected for something he did in error. Correct? Yes. So, for example, why did you leave the hypocrites go without the yes. So, 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 if everything that he said is revealed, then is it logical that he would have given leave to the hypocrites using the words that come out of his mouth that were supposedly revealed? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. So everything he said was not revealed? Yes or no? Yes. Everything he said was not revealed. Okay, so therefore, yes. my interpretation makes more sense than yours. Yes. Okay. No, it doesn't. I'll tell you why. Oh, yes, you just I'll, justified no, no, why no, it does. No, no, no. It, I'll tell you why. Okay. Now, you say that only applies to the Quran. Yes. So, anything other than the, the Quran the Prophet said is not trustworthy, right? Anything that Using your logic, wait, did you understand his logic? No, okay. No. Let okay. me now answer. I'm, I'm, I'm responding. No. Let me answer. So you anything the other than the Quran the Prophet said, is it trustworthy or not? Anything that he says other than the Quran does not become the foundation of deen. Okay, wait. Is it trustworthy or not? The people at his time must listen to him and follow him as the community leader. What if, he's, what, what if he's making a mistake? Well, as a human being... I'm using your logic. Because I don't believe in that logic. But I'm using your logic against your argument. So now tell me, if he is saying things X, Y, and Z, pray like this, give the cut like this, what if he's mistaken? What if Allah corrects him after a while? Well, if he corrects him, that answers the question. Okay, so that means a lot of the things Prophet said other than the Quran, are correct, right? I would say yes, that yes. I would say that the prophet was not claiming okay. that everything he uh, says was source of religion. Okay. I agree with you 100. percent I I will help you even more than that when when when, when, when this is war. and the companions of the prophet understood that. So when he commanded them to say, so, for example, at the battle of Ahzab in in war, he said, "Can we give half the harvest of this year to Banu Ghatfan to break the alliance of uh, the the invaders and the Sahaba?" They asked him. Ya 
Ya Rasulullah, is it your command or is it your opinion? Okay, because they made a distinction between the two entities. Command is from Allah, period. No debate, no discussion. Yes. Opinion, they had the option to either accept or reject. So the Prophet said, this is my opinion. This is not an Amr, because Amr is from Allah, even though it's not in the Quran, even though it's not the Quran. So the Sahaba, they, they, they knew that when he commands, it is from Allah. Okay, even though it's not in the Quran, that's what we call hadith. That's what we call hadith. Now, so, so wait, you say hadith is revealed. Yes, one hundred percent authentic hadith is one hundred percent revelation. Okay. Yes. What is your evidence in the Quran for that? Wama yantiqu anil hawa in in huwa illa wahid yuha. And I use your logic to show you how wrong you are, because now you admitted that not not everything other than the Quran the Prophet said was incorrect. Rather, when he was corrected, that's when. It, will, it became clear I'm that he was back, incorrect. I'm, I'm going back another way. I'm saying he would not have claimed that anything other than the Quran is in fact a source of religious guidance. Okay, I understand that. But anything other than the Quran related to the religion, the companions, do, did they take it seriously or did they reject it? Simple question, simple question. I hope you understood it. They would have to follow him as community leader. They would have to follow him. No, 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 no. If he said... How do you know he was he, the community okay, wait, leader? Wait, wait. How do you know that? Let's, let's, let's okay, okay, wait, wait. In the Quran... Thank you. You're making my point for me. No, no, yeah, yeah. So when the Prophet told them things other than the Quran, for example, he read the Quran and he told them this is Quran. Now I tell you to do this. For example, do charity like this or have ghusl after Janaba, like you do, right? For some reason. Okay? Have ghusl after, and they started to do it. Was that deen or was that optional? Well, first of all, I don't accept that he would have made all these other pronouncements outside of the Quran. Oh, it doesn't matter what you accept. Well, I'm asking you a simple question. Did he have companions? Did he have companions? Yes, I did. Did he teach them other than the Quran? Did he teach them other than the Quran? I believe he would not have taught them any religion outside of the Quran. You're not answering my question. I just did, answered your question. Okay. Did he explain the Quran to them? Did he? Uh, some of them came with confusions on the Quran. What does it mean? Okay. Did he explain to them? For example, for example, Ya Ukhta Harun. Ya Ukhta Harun. You know the story of uh, when Mary was called the sister of Harun. Yes. Okay. And Mughira bin Shoba, one of his companions, went to the Christians of Najran. And they heard the, these verses and they said, hold on a second, this is a, this is a mistake in your Quran. This is an error. And they said, why? They said, Mary was actually not the sister of Harun. Okay. Uh, no, no. This Mary, the Mary, Mary mother of Jesus was not the sister of Harun. That was another Mary. So the Quran has a mistake because the Quran is talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus, not the sister of Harun and Musa. So this is an error. So Mughir bin Shuma got confused. Okay, he came back to the Prophet. Ya Rasulullah, can you explain to me? They asked this question. He said they are they are very right. They have asked a valid question because this this reference to Mary, Ya Ukhta Harun, is not a biological reference. It is an honorary reference. Like in the Bible, in the New Testament, uh, Hannah, Hannah is called one of the daughters of David. Is she a physical daughter of David? No, it's an honorary title. So the Prophet clarified and Mughira bin Shoba went back and told them this is an honorary title. Every single uh, pious person in Banu Israel was either called the son of uh, Aaron or the brother of Aaron or the sister of Aaron because of their piety. Okay? Likewise... Can I ask you both a question on this, yeah? You know it says in the Quran that we've sent uh, Kitab al mubin and a light, like in Jalal al Din al you probably correct me if I'm wrong, said that this light was the Prophet. Yeah, so isn't that following his sunnah? So you have to follow There's the Quran. No evidence that the light is referring to the hadith. Okay. So you don't accept that, you don't accept that, accept before, that. you don't accept that. So that's in the Quran, you've, you've quoted him okay, something. Wait, 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 where, does the, where is the Quran likening the hadith to? They have light? made their mind up that they will never accept any reference direct or indirect to, to prophetic tradition. Let's, let's, let's not, let's let's not use, establish it. Let's, let's, don't, don't let's not, not okay, no, 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 I'm asking you a question now. This is the question I'm asking. When Prophet ﷺ taught his companions extra Quranic material, was that part of the religion? or was it just gibberish? What was it? It was not part of the religion. So why did they do it? 
Why did they do it? You think they did it based upon faulty transmission of hadith? No, I don't think it. No, what, I know what's they did your it. Did you see them do okay. it? Did okay. you see them do it? So, so, so when did you see them? Okay, wait. No. Did you see the Quran be revealed? No, I did not. No, why do you believe that? Based upon the same testimony and it's not okay. 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 We believe in the so, same reason. So the companions, all the, the other same. things they were doing were simply done for no reason. They were just a bunch of fools. Because, because the Quran gives the minimal guidance and it gives the general direction as well of what people should do. And if they do extra stuff, so all, the that, all the commentary of the, on the Quran by the Prophet should be ignored. Even if it can be shown historically authentic. You can't do that. How do you understand? No, one second. By his logic. By his own logic. How do you do Hajj? How do you do Umrah? How do you do Nothing. Have you, have, you, have you studied the Quran? I don't know, I'm just, I'm just asking you. I've actually done that. I'm not Salah, Hajj and all that. You, you seem know, to have studied so much, but you can't give us any So, so when you go for Hajj, what do you do? Actually, I've written a document. I haven't learned it off. I'm happy to send it to you. Okay. I've extracted every bit of information in the Quran. Okay, that so how do you do Hajj? I'm asking you, how do you do Hajj? What do you do? On the 8th of the Hijjah, what do you do? So in the Quran, it mentions that Hajj can take place in the sacred months. The word used in the Quran is Ashkhur, okay? Extra months. So the current practice where it's done only in the first 10 days of the Hijjah or whatever, that is in fact un-Quranic because in the Quran, it mentions you can do so it you in can the do, months. So you can do Hajj in any other months? This Sacred months, yes. That is what the Quran says. I know you don't care about You're that. You're finished, man. You're completely gone. You don't care about the Quran, obviously. It says the one. My friend, my friend, in my friend. This is what happens. About the Quran, the new that, well, does it say months? Does it say that you can do Hajj in the well-known months, in the sacred months? Yes or no? Does it use the plural? Yes or no? Let's read the verse. I guarantee you, it says the plural months. How can you guarantee me when? Because I have read it. That's why. Okay. You also thought Janabo. You will find, in fact, you are in error by only doing it in one month. So which verse is this? Show me. Let me get out my document on this. Why yeah, not? yeah. Let's go to the verse and see what what it says. And I'm sure you will. I'll be correct. That's what I'll be. That's what I'm okay, sure. Why are you even saying? It's a basic. We don't understand why we even believe in the Quran. We, you know, well, that's the basic thing. I understand why. But why? But I'm not here to give you a lecture on that topic. No, I'm here to discuss. But it's the basic I'm, of your belief. No, no, it's you not. Believe that Quran but, is the main. No, no, no. How can you believe the discussion the now is is the, is the hadith no. a part of the religion forget based the upon the Quran? Forget, forget no, no, it is. There's no yeah, forgetting it. Yes, it is. That is the topic of discussion. Why do you even believe in the Quran? Why do you even believe in the Quran? For me, I can. Doesn't matter why. So when the Quran says. So when the Quran says. When the Quran says. We've got proof. So that you explain to the people. You know the verse? One second. You know, one second. Do you know the verse I'm talking about? One second. Conversation is dead. What's the dominator? Well, how many times do you pray a day then, mate? Out of interest? Three. Yeah, and not five, yeah? Nice one. Two, 197. That's a big one. Yeah, it's massive. Do what? If you've studied the Quran and the timings of Salah, you'll only find three. Two one ninety-seven. Really? I can send you a document on that if you wish. Before we get to that, I have a, I have a very important question. Two one ninety-seven. Two one ninety-seven is what we're talking okay, about now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We're talking wait, about Hajj. I promise we'll go. I promise we'll go to that. After this, this is this after is. This. Okay, no. After no, the, no, no. After, wait, after, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, explain to me when Allah says in the Quran here, you believe Allah said that in the Quran, right? Allah revealed the Quran. Wa anzalna, dhikra. We have revealed upon you dhikr which you say is the Quran. لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ So that you explain to people So that you explain to people What has been revealed upon them Okay, now When the Prophet is reading the Quran to them Allah is saying so that you explain to them What has been revealed So Allah is saying that explanation in the Quran is valid Okay, so where is that explanation of the Prophet? Can you explain? It's not your logic, that's for sure. No, no, sorry. This thing, I have actually written documents on this. I don't recall Everything them on the mic. Yeah, you yeah. have written documents yeah, and you don't recall. Because, because actually, I... I because actually reading. you don't believe in the information you're writing yourself. That's well, I why. I do believe it. That's why. If Anyone who believes in something and writes it yes. is actually there it's in the brain. Yeah, you it, should it, know it. It remains you know with you. I write it okay. because my memory is shit, that's why. Okay, sorry so my friend. I, I store it somewhere. Okay, can you explain to me when the Prophet is told in the Quran so that 
that you may explain what has been revealed upon them upon them when the prophet is explaining the revelation where is that explanation if okay he, he and, and what is that what, what, he, what do we call it if he is making clear or elaborating to them it yes. is only based upon the Quran okay fine so that elaboration which is not the Quran because it is elaboration is that clear the elaboration it's not adding. okay the it's not adding. Ela okay example, I'm not I'm not saying it's adding I'm saying it's elaboration him a word that Elaboration. Can we can we can we follow that elaboration? Can you're, we? You're implying it's extra. Okay, wait. Okay, the explanation is not the words of the Quran. It's an, it is it is an elaboration. Can we follow that elaboration? Can we? Okay. So let's let's look at this logic. Okay. Now give me. Give I know. I don't care about your logic. Tell me. Even logic. Tell me. We don't believe in logic. I don't use logic to judge the Quran. I don't. You clearly don't use logic. So I don't. I do use logic. Okay. I do use logic. Asking, That's why I'm consistent. You're asking That's me a question. Consistent. You're asking me a question. Let me answer it. I don't use logic to understand. Are you going to let me answer or not? Yes. So, is it correct or is it not correct that throughout the life of the Prophet, after he gave him, got his first revelation, he was receiving revelation all the way through? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, Allah says in the Quran. The, the way, how, how do you know that? Because it's mentioned that? in the Quran that it's revealed bit by bit in order to help him. And also, we hear from the say, they say and then say. So, obviously, throughout the period, he is receiving revelations that help him, that come. How long did he receive the revelation from? To the best of my knowledge, based upon what's claimed in history, from the period from the Why do you believe the history? Why do you believe the history? Honest, no, no, no. Honestly, honestly, it's irrelevant to me if it's 21 years. This is very frustrating. No, it's very frustrating. No, no, it's not. No, it is. Because, not. No, one second. You choose to believe history when you want to believe history, but you you choose not to because, believe certain hadith. Because, because the Quran the is the criterion that you must use. Not, not some okay, some okay. That were okay, so so let's use that criteria. So when the Prophet said... Also, wait a minute. Hold on. He asked me a question. Let me answer. So there's two things here. Number one, it could mean that he is making clear based upon the revelation that he has with him. And number two, Allah can send down revelation which, by which he clarifies some previous things. So for example, if we look at Surah number four, Ayah number 176, it says, as in they're asking you, and then Allah answers about the Kalala, correct? So this what happens is it's possible that throughout his life, he is clarifying through the extra revelation. Possible. It is possible. It's not certain. No. Well, the most likely thing is that that's what happened. No, it's not most likely. This is why, is this is why you you are no different. So, so you know, the Christians, so the Christians here, it's they, read, they read the Bible without the background. They don't care about the history of the Bible. They don't care who said what. They just start reading the Bible and start using their own logic to understand the Bible. And this is why they ended up with 1,000 sects. You go to Christians, they, there is a new sect every single street corner. Okay? With Islam, we have this tradition protecting the Quran. And it's, it's, not, it's corrupt okay. the Quran. So what is what does the Litubayya and Alinas mean? Tell me. So that you can explain to people. Now the Quran is giving authority. Quran is giving credence to that explanation of the Prophet. You're using your logic. Okay. And and now it is black and white in the Quran where it says, so that you may explain to them what Allah has revealed to them. So Allah is not talking about the revelation itself. Allah is talking about the explanation. Is that explanation authoritative for us? The answer is anything that would not be... The answer is anything that would not be in the Quran is not a valid source of religion from the Prophet or anyone else. Sorry? I go again, go again. Anything that would not have been the Quran, there was no authority for the Messenger to add anything extra to it. I am say, I'm not saying ex, the Quran is not saying he's going to okay. add extras. So, because the Quran, to the contrary, says if you added anything into it, no, you would be punished. Yeah, thank you. So we're not talking about extras there, are we? The Quran is saying, when you explain to them what Allah has revealed to them, that explanation, that commentary, that information to understand the Quran better, where is it and is it authoritative? Okay, According so, to the Quran. So the thing is, you cannot take just one ayah without one analyzing the context. There's another place where the messenger says that I have no ability to guide you. 
you right. understand that? You're familiar right. with that? Yes. I can show it to you. I can, I can quote the words, yes. It doesn't mean so what you what think it works. That guidance is to Iman, to take shahad. The verse is, Inna ka la tahdi man ahbabka wa lakinna la yahdi man yasha wa hu a'lam bin muhtadeen. That, oh Muhammad, you cannot guide those you love, right? This guidance is shahada, al-Islam. This guidance is not explaining the Quran. So now you're again desperately trying to find a way out, but you can't because the Quran is explicitly saying that when the Prophet explains, it is authoritative. If it's not authoritative, show me why not. In the Quran, go on. That, no. would, require, I mean, that would require something and I could send you a document on it. I don't have it all in my document. Okay, so you don't know, right? You say, just, I don't know, yeah. sorry. At least admit, accept yeah. the fact that this verse is problematic for me. I'll go and do research and talk, come back to you later. Yeah. Is that fair? What I can say is that my research on it, which I've documented, I don't have it in my mind right now. Okay, but again, I'll repeat. It is fair to say that this verse is problematic for me. I will go and research yeah. it and come back to you. That's the is that a fair? thing to do. That's the I don't right? think it's problematic. Yeah. Oh, then explain. Oh. Uh, okay, he says it's not problematic. Yeah, 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 explain. explain then. That's when you say I, me, us, we, this is the problem people go to misguidance. Because if you don't go to the first three generations. Ali, we've been here for the last no, 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 one no, hour. Oh, we've hour. said all these things. No, no, no. We've said all these well, things. Well, you need to highlight it. Yeah. Anyone, every time I speak to somebody, I speak to Khadiyan, he goes, I understood it, we understood it, us understood it. No, no, we already said that. You're using your logic on no, 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 no. it. I want to hear this. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'm making a comment. So you think this is not problematic? Can you explain why this is not problematic? I don't. Surah Al-Nahal, verse number 44. I will take my time to recheck my analysis on that topic, but I'm not going to make up something out of my mind. So, so far it is problematic for you. I don't consider it problematic unless okay. I'm analyzing. Okay, let me translate it again. We have revealed, revealed to you. upon you. I understand the okay. words. Dhikra, revelation. Okay. So that you may explain to people what has been revealed upon them. So it is not revelation Allah is talking about. It is the explanation that I mean, even clear. the explanation is know, authoritative. How do you know the explanation is itself not another revelation in the Quran? Because, no, it's if, it, not. because if it's being it's revealed, not. I know. It's being no, revealed. no, because Allah is saying, So, what, what, was, what, what did Allah reveal to them? What did the Quran write? So that you may explain to them what Allah has revealed upon them. So it is not the Quran. And, and the it, is, it is something outside yeah. of the Quran. It's not. Information. Because, because, because if, you look, if you look elsewhere, the messenger is made to say that he judges only by the Quran. Yes or no? Where did he say that? Did we get it? The, the messenger judges only by the Quran. Okay. And if there's a pro if there's a problem, people don't understand the Quran. What happens? The messenger keeps quiet. So the messenger tells them, "Believe the Quran. Believe the Quran. Believe the Quran. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't ask me." What do you think would happen to the companions of the Prophet? No, no. When he asks the questions, Allah gives the answer in the Quran. That's why it says, "All who okay, they do not find the answer in the Quran. Now, what do we do? Well, the Prophet can't make up why, an answer. So, uh, for example, also, why, also, the fact that you two, believe in Janaba, Janaba, making Sorry, Muslim after Janaba. <laughs> that's, that's very important. That's very because he has already stated. Hey, I, I don't make it a requirement. Okay, but but okay. Do you believe? Do you believe making ghusl after Janaba? I think it's a good practice. Why? You change your truth. Why? You, you don't you have do. to. I never there is no scientific never evidence. Said. There is no scientific evidence uh, to suggest that it is something Listen, uh, recommended I'm scientifically. I'm well, it, 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 it brings back your mojo or something. Anything, like that. anything that's not enough. I don't need that to bring back my mojo. I don't know what help you need for that. So whatever is not enough for that is not required. That is but. That is General statement. A practice can be good, but it becomes not why, required. Why, not why, why is it good? Why is it good? What, okay, what's your definition of Once good? Again. What's your definition of good? Good. Two, what is good? 2197. Does the Hajj say in months or months? So why are you drifting to another topic? Because you said you were going to go to that and we have not got to So you failed you fail to address this one, right? No, no. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah. I, I gave you some. You I, have no idea what this is. No, no. I said. This is extra Quranic material I, taught by the Prophet. I the Quran I'm saying it. I posited a possible way and I said, I'm not going to say I have the answer until I've done my analysis. Okay, again. okay, good. So this is pending, right? This is pending. 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 And if it, if, it, if it disproves your understanding, if it does, if it, it's a big if, okay? If it disproves your understanding, then what? Will you change your mind? Then come back? Because you become a hadith, hadithist? If I find I'm in error, because I don't worship the tradition of elders, good, good, I will good. do whatever it takes. Oh, good.
Shake hands with me. Let's go to Hajj. Let's go to Hajj. No problem, don't worry. Let's go. Well, you, know, you know the verse, yeah? It's Surah Al Nahal. Surah Al Nahal, verse 54. Remember that, yeah? 2197. 2197. Okay, so what does it say about Hajj? What's your point? Oh, we so discussed. you say it has to be in the first 10 days of the Hajj, right? I am saying that because the Prophet taught it. What does the Quran And he himself say? did it. What does Allah say? Himself. Did the Prophet do Hajj? Do you believe he did Hajj? Yes. I believe so. Okay, when did he do it? And um, why do you believe he did Hajj? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you believe. Because he said you believe. Because Hajj is a requirement and the messenger would have done it. So, would have done it. So there's no evidence for it. For me, historical evidence, whatever the method may be, is irrelevant. I believe that the messenger followed the revelation. Okay. Do you believe he did Hajj? It's a simple question. Do you believe he did Hajj? I sure do. Why? Because Where do you get the information Because from? he would have followed the Quran. That's no, no, no. You, you he, believe. Because okay. he is Belief has to be. Because he is a Muslim and he follows the revelation, okay. therefore he so, would do it. So there is no confirmed evidence that whether he did Hajj or not, right? There may be, but it's irrelevant. So the matter is doubtful, right? No, no, he did it, but... The How do you know he did it? You, see, you just... Okay, when you... You're making a claim, Prophet did Hajj. Would have and did are two different things. Do you agree? Would have is still doubtful. Un a possibility is potentially true. Okay, did means he certainty. did it, certainty. So you're saying he did, yes. based upon what? Based upon the fact that he would follow the guidance of Allah. No, would, no, 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 no. would. You're again saying the word would, that means doubtful. Because you said I'm, did. I'm using, no, no, I'm using that because he is dead. No, but how I can't do you say know? because he is how, following. Then you can't say did. How do you know about you his character? Did. How do you know you about his character? Because did is certainty. Did is certainty. Are you certain about it? Certain about what? That he did Hajj. What, 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 I what, what, believe what, that he would have followed the Quran and I'm certain about it. Why do you believe that for? Why do you believe that? Because you would have followed the guidance. Why do you believe he would have come from? No, no, one second. Why is he I'm done. I'm done with this discussion. Why is he nice talking to you, Marwan. I hope you will go home and think before you sleep tonight that what you follow, whether it's true or not. And believe me, it's life is certainly true. Okay. How are you so certain? He's going to go home and check. There is a reason why we are. Because, because there is a. Marwan, Marwan. There is a reason. There is a reason all these people are hadiths. They're not a bunch of thick, thick barbarians. Okay. They believe in things for a reason. Are Jews thick? Okay. Are Jews thick? No. Are Christians thick? No. no. But no. we still believe they're in error, right? No, no, no. no. They are. Yes they, no. Yeah. they are deliberately yes. in error. No. They are deliberately. Brother, I believe. Wait, wait. wait. There are some. Some are deliberately in error. People like Jay Smith. He is deliberately. He's a liar. I believe. He's is a liar. He, is he okay. thick? No. He's not thick. No. So he can no. be intelligent. Are we? Are we deliberately in liar? Uh, in, in error? Do you think I'm deliberately in error? Do you think most Christians are deliberately in error? Even the intelligent ones? They're ignorant. I, am I ignorant of tradition? Do you think I'm ignorant? Are they think, okay. 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 Christians can be uh, they can be sincere and intelligent and wrong. Yes, That's because the they're ignorant. And also because Jews. they're ignorant. They don't and know the history. Jews do I know the history? And intelligent and do wrong. I know the history yeah. of yeah. our tradition? No. Do you know the do I know the You believe so, you do? No. no. I, I believe you know than I, I can substantiate standing here, if you ask me questions, why do I believe in that hadith? I will I will substantiate my view as to why I believe it's true. Like the Quran, you asked me the question which I asked you for 20 minutes and you didn't answer because as to why I believe in the Quran. Doesn't matter, it's directly it relevant to the story. It is relevant to the story. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. It's not real. Is it? Yeah, it's not real. It's not real. It's forged. It's forged, yeah. Without even looking at the content, I'm telling you it's forged. <laughs> because a lot of these charters attributed to the Prophet are not real. The ones we have are are in authentic histories. Tabri has the Treaty of the, uh, the Dran. We don't need anything else if we have that. With charge, charge. The monastery. But one nice talking to you. Okay, no hard feelings. We keep talking. Okay. I have no hard feelings. But okay. understand. But, but I want you to think as to why you believe in things when you don't have any grounds to believe in them. Okay. Uh, how, how about this? Saint, Saint Catherine. Is it Saint Catherine Monastery? 